Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, let me just fix this right quick. Let me get that fixed for y'all. All right. Uh, it, 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 it is good to be back. Um, uh, let me get into this. Uh, we got a good one for you today. We got the upset special of the week. Uh, we're going to make you some money. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Vlog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Showing you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money on the sport of boxing. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies don't know how to handicap boxing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make a second source of revenue on the sport of boxing. Uh, we bring down the house. We make money with you every single week. Um, so follow me, subscribe, uh, and I'm going to show you how to make money consistently on the sport of boxing. All right, let's get uh, – also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds uh, from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right. I'm a mess here. Okay. Okay, sorry about, sorry about that. So uh, this week's upset special, uh, Harry Davies, Ismail Barroso. Let's get into it. Um, the odds here, are, I'm surprised at the odds. Look, I'm not saying O'Hara Davies is a bum. O'Hara Davies has legitimate wins. He has a win over Miguel, uh, Jack. He has lost to Jack Catterall in a competitive fight. Uh, he's got a win then over Miguel Vasquez. He's got a win over Tyrone McKenna. He's got uh, a win over Lewis Ritson, a stoppage of Lewis Ritson. Uh, so he's got some decent wins. He's not a buff. Um, he's not going to win this fight, though, okay? Um, he's one of these guys I look at and I say he's not going to win, and then he wins. Like, he's got some wins. He's got some decent power. He counters well. You know, he, he, he's he's not tall, but he's got a long – he's like got a six-foot wingspan, 5'7". So he's, like, sneaky long. Um you know, he got that wide base too. He just, he actually takes up a lot of space. Um, you know, he uses his jab a little bit, but it's kind of slow. Um, he's easy to time. I, I I think he's a little awkward and orthodox. You know, he stays in trades too much. He's he can hit. He's definitely got power. Although you know, I don't think he's some great one hit or quitter. Um, he I, he loves his power too much. That that's that's a lot of his issue. And he's also just not fundamentally good. Like he's he's wild. He's sloppy. He makes amateurish mistakes. Um, you know, but he's got good timing and, and he's a good counter puncher. Um, he can hit you. Um, uh, you know, defensively, I, I think he's a mess. He he lunges. He's he's wide open. Um, you can go over his jab with a right hand. Well, Barroso's a lefty. Um, uh, so we'll see we'll see how that works. Um. But normally, if you're looking at him, you can go over his jab with a straight right hand. Uh, we're going to see if um, how Barroso can, can use the, the right hook in this fight. Um, and it's just constantly the same thing with, with Davies. Like, he hasn't gotten better from fight to fight. He hasn't shown improvement. Um, he's sloppy on the inside. He's so easy to tag. Um, he, he's he, he's a good counter puncher, but he's easy to counter, too. Um is it the lunging is an issue? He gets wild. It's just I don't want to say he's undisciplined because this is how he fights. But like he's he kind of like he's kind of all over the place. Um, he he's not gonna outbox you. I, it's gonna be hard for him to knock out Barosa. Barosa's got a solid chin. I, I understand that he was stopped by Roly. Uh, Roly's a bigger hitter, and that was a ridiculous, absolutely absurd stoppage. It's the robbery of the year. That stoppage, which you don't really get a stoppage robbery, but that stoppage with with, with Roly was ridiculous and i'm surprised by the odds because everyone thought barroso was winning that fight and the fight was just unfolding he had gotten his legs underneath him. it was like the second act of that fight and it got stopped inexplicably i think corruptly um you know and, and barroso in this fight is a can't miss fight this is a high action can't miss fight this is an excellent fight from a fan's perspective uh you know barroso's a come forward guy loves to come forward He's heavy on the front foot. He's similar to Davies in, in, in that he's looking to set things up. He's not overly busy. Uh, but he throws – I'm not saying he's a great combination puncher. I'm saying he throws in better combos than Davies does. Uh, he's also more accurate. I think he hits harder. Like He does, he is – seems to be a one a more of a one-hitter quitter where Davies has good, not great power. But also might have uh, terrific power. Um, so I want to break that down. Uh, like Barroso might have great power. 
Got to keep that in mind. Um, what I got here. Okay. Uh, scratch that for a minute. Um, so I, I just think, like, yo, know, I say, what can Davies become? He can become Barroso. Barroso is ready, Barroso. Yes, he is old. Uh, but, I, you know, I just think he's offensively more sound. He's tighter. He's sharper. His job is sh- – his jab is sharper. Like, he just does things better. He, he does things similarly, but just does them in a sharper fashion and a, a harder fashion than does um, Davies. Uh, this is a good fight. When I show you the odds, I think you might be surprised. I thought the odds were going to be much, much closer. Uh, but I see – you know, well, I'll show you how I see it. Let's pull it up. There's not a lot, you know, there's not a lot of props. I would take the uh Barroso by stoppage. Uh, but we don't have a we only have a money line on this bet. And I think this is the steal of the week here. But also is paying plus 330. Uh, which is wild. So we're just gonna do a one times bet on that. A one times bet will make you 330 plus your initial hundred dollars back. So the payout is 430, making you $330 on a hundred dollar bet. It's something like this where you can really this is where we start to make money. This being you know, all like you know, three and a half to one basically is really insane. Like it, it, this is a, a, a competitive fight where Barroso should be the favorite. I feel like what Davies beat Ritson, big deal, big deal. Like Every other time he stepped up, basically, he's lost. His other two step up fights, he's lost. He's lost to Josh Taylor. He got stopped by Josh Taylor, right? He lost to Catterall. Now, I'm not saying Barroso is as good as those guys, uh, but his other, those are his other step up fights. And, and he's lost both of them. So to me, um, I got Barroso um, clearly winning this fight. I think he should be a straight up odds favorite. And we're seeing them down here. Uh, we're seeing them as a dog, which is which is surprising because it's not. Davies doesn't do anything better than him, knows except that he's younger, right? Like I think everything that they do is similar, but Barroso does everything better. You know, both guys. I have a vote. Both guys want to trade. Wait, when they trade, and Barroso and, and, and Davies lands, who's get who gets the better of it? Barroso does, right? Um, so that's my thoughts on this one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money on the sport of boxing. Um, we're going to come back. We're going to do Virgil Ortiz as well. Uh, but give me a uh, hit, the, hit the subscribe, hit the follow, all that good stuff. Hit the bell notification. Uh, and and uh, the Boxing Bookie will show you how to consistently make money on the sport. And then something like this, the upset special. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also, follow the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is December 30th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.